chat. I'm cooling, man. I was just relaxing. Maxing, kicking back. Maxing, relaxing. When I got hit up in the morning by whack. Wax said, yo, Sharpie. Sharpie from No Jumper start talking crazy to me. Yo, I had to mark him out. I said, stop it. He said, you think I'm lying? By the way, here's what I also hear. Wack might run him out of No Jumper's building. So come Monday, Sharpie is going to come with all, they're going to come with a bunch of, a bunch of like, you know what I mean, uh, 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 niggas with relaxers and fucking styling gel and him and his whole pimp, his little pimp gang is going to try to stand up to make sure Sharpie could go to work and keep verbally abusing women to get that little paycheck that he's getting. Yes. So y'all got to listen to this. By the way, <clears throat> for anybody who think that Wack did this to me, that's not the case. Uh, the real backstory is this. Sharp, ever since I fucking, you know, like just eviscerated him, he can't sleep now. This is what I was like. Boy, if you can, if you couldn't take me getting at you and now you got insomnia and you're up on Clubhouse at 6 o'clock every day. He's been on Clubhouse every day, every day, every night, every day, every night. He makes a YouTube video talking two hours about me. I don't care. <laughs> because I'm looking at him like this guy's an idiot. But his obsession after I put him in his place, he was lacking sleep. Who knows? Maybe off one of them pills that they be trying to feed to them prostitutes when they try to get him to do whatever. I don't know. He was on Clubhouse and he started being disrespectful with whack. But it really wasn't whack. Apparently, he was this being disrespectful to some of the people that's on Wax floor. Now, that's that's the 100 side. I don't know if y'all know about them. Those are Wax, you know what I mean? Wax content partners that Wax be going back and forth with about everything. You know what I mean? Everything. Wax goes back and forth with them about me. Wax goes back and forth about them with Blueface. But everything. But Sharp, who can't sleep, is on there and he starts disrespecting them. And Wax goes crazy on him. Because, you know, Wax's not going to let you disrespect the women who are, like, you know, on his floor. So this is how it goes. <laughs> Where you at? I'm going to pull up. We're going to put on the camera. And I'll bet you I'll bet you. I don't give a fuck about no cameras. Where we at? I thought you was a real gangster, bro. I will beat the fuck out your little bitch ass. And if you keep running your mouth... If and it's you running your mouth, I'm gonna run you, you out that building. Sharpie. You're Sharpie. Now, whack my OG. I can't tell OG, big homie, how to move, but I could probably put a case in for you, brother. I don't want you to lose your job. We all kind of like, like, you know, you had a couple little moments where you were yelling at, you know what I mean? Like, like a couple women and, and people thought it was entertaining or when you were yelling at, what's that dude named? Cooley? Like, Coo no, Kelpie. Kelpie. Yeah. My only thing is, why are you not yelling at big homie, though? Don't run in your mouth. I'm going to run you out that building, homie. You better, you better home. You say, you say yeah, what? Yo, Sharp, pipe down. I told you to clock in. That's I'll try to leave it there. Just, to, Sharp, you're trying to win for, like, internet bravado points. This is not even what you do. And nobody's going to, like, nobody's trying to pick on you anyway. You trying to go on some other realm. Number one, I don't understand how it furthers whatever you're doing because this is not even what you do. But number two, you start stepping on toes. And then you start thinking you're you're, you're more... Valuable than you are invaluable. Ha having the recent situations and no jumper proof that all you niggas is expendable. What do you mean, you yeah, right? You sure you want to? You sure you want to play with whack? Keep running uh -huh. your mouth. If you keep running your mouth, I'm gonna run you out that building. Keep, keep on running your mouth. 
I'm gonna run you out that building, homie. You better, you better humble yourself. Hey, 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 that's a valley building, homie. That is a valley building. You will get your ass ran the fuck up out of there. You are from San Diego, bro. You are where? San Diego's dope. A long way from home. What are you saying about Diego? Why does Sharp sound like that? That nigga sound like he smoked one too many cigarettes, stressing out if one of them little prostitutes gonna make it out the room with them pimps. Or no, not the pimps, them Johns. What they call them? Tricks? I don't know what the fuck they call them. He sound like that cigarette and fucked up his vocal box, right? Nigga, I'm saying you 189 No, but what are you saying about Dago? I'm though? saying I can pull 50 of them. Yeah, I pull, crazy, I'm right? telling That's you, I can pull. Do. Listen, this is what I'm telling what you. Saying I about can pull Dago, 50 Dago niggas to a sister and. Yo, Sharp is, Sharp think, yo, Sharp think he's slick, but I can tell you, Sharp sound like he's kicking game to a dumbass nigga, or to a chick, I kid you not. Sharp, he told my running you out the building. You ain't, you barely say nothing about that. Now he said, he said, yo, you mad far from San Diego. He said, what you say about Dago, nigga? No, nigga, he, what do he say about running you out the building? He said he gonna run you out the building. <laughs> Talk for yourself. Running your ass out that building. Hey, it's what I'm saying. Dago niggas right now the NNC. Boy, you don't want to play with me like that, bro. All day, for you call call Dago niggas. You do not want to play with me Man, like that. All right, my nigga. It's one on the floor that been waiting to call get you. Call Dago niggas. He's been waiting to get you. Stop doing that ice, man. It's one on the floor waiting to get you. Call. Boy, my nigga, we right call. But call. Listen, I'm telling you, you're running call. 90 miles from home. Call you ain't call. got don't no do win. Don't do that on here. You ain't got here. no win out here. Don't do that on here. Call Dago. Hey, short. Hey, short. You ain't got no Dago. win out here. You ain't got no win out here. Call Dago. I'm a paw rule, nigga. I can't call Dago, call Dago, Dago, nigga. Call Dago. Call Dago, nigga. I'm a paw rule. We right here already. Call. Bro, you doing too much. But what's call Dago. Me? He says, call Dago. He's like, no, no, no. <laughs> this is hilarious. Call right Dago, here. nigga. Call Dago. Paul, we right here all day. Bro, you doing too much. But what's call what Dago. you do, blood? I want to get out. Call oh, shit. Call Dago. Because I'm a little nigga. Rock with him. I'm, I'm a beat to a motherfucking face here, nigga. Do your thing. Go ahead, big homie. Call I'm with me and you. Call I'm, San Diego. What's up with me and you? I want to get out. This nigga keeps saying call Dago like he's like he's stuck on lag. Call Dago. Call Call, call Dago. 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 And by the way, you wouldn't even been exposed until you start. You got to take a nigga like me. I break you down. You know what I mean? We're going to break you down. You want good content? We want to see you. Maybe you don't bring no chicks up there no more. Bring these gangbangers up there. And then you get them that game. That's what I want to see. Y'all ain't in, in LA, right? Bring some of these gangbanging niggas and start giving them game. Shouting at them and shit like that because... Right now, it sounds like you're trying to call. You're trying to have that man call a lifeline for you. Call that out. Call that out. Because I'm a little nigga. Rock with him. I'm, I'm a Rock beat to a motherfucking face here, nigga. Do your What's thing. up with me and you? Call I'm, San Diego. What's up call with me and you? I want to get out. What's up with me and you? I got shit. They never like me, bro. Blood, listen. That shit for what it is. What's up with me and you? Oh, nigga, what's shit. up with me and you? What's up? Can we run the fade this morning? What we running it on? What, what dog? Wherever you want me to be, you want me no, to stretch. What we running Academic it on? Give me, give me your, hey, give me a real reason to get him, get him, the people, yo people. <laughs> I love this part. <laughs> Call Dago. Call Dago. Call Dago. Nah, let's run on fade. Like, let's run on fade. Nah, yo, could you tell, give everybody a real reason we should run the fade? Your sharp is cool. Like, <laughs> You know what's so funny about niggas like Sharp? Because posturing and, and they love claiming the street shit so much. Sharp, it's cool to say, yeah, I got yeah, I got energy for these bitches, but y'all yeah, don't want no problem with, with whack. I, I don't want no problem with whack neither. Whack the big homie. <laughs> you feel me? But but this nigga is trying to weasel out of this shit so bad. 
Yo, Flacco, I told you how you got to deal with them up there, right? Flacco. Yo, Flacco, I know you look up to me. But if you want to borrow my big homie for one of these niggas up there, Yo, Flacco, you see how they talk to you? And you see how they talk to them? What's up with me and you? 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 We run the fade this morning? <laughs> we run it what this? we running it on? What, what dog, wherever you want me to be, you want me to be What we running it on? Give me, give me your A. Give me a real reason, nigga. Get a, get a, the people, your people, a reason of why we doing it. You come in my flow, disrespecting. My write me a five page essay on why we need to catch this fade, man. If you want to catch a fade, write me a five page essay on why we gotta catch this fade because you gotta give me the essay on why we gotta catch this fade. My people, my nigga. Nah, nigga. Got you gonna have some respect, respect up there. Not disrespect. I'm a real. You gonna have some respect. You should respect that. Well, fuck all that. But I respect them now. You gonna have some respect up in here. I just bro. have some what you was paying them, nigga. You gonna have some respect. Hey, listen. Paying them and they ask you what. So what happened was, while this bozo is talking, Sharp, I guess the people on Wax floor, which again, if you go to Clubhouse, they're extension of Wax. You might look at them like, well, yeah, I don't know you. But you got to also look at them and be like, yo, well, whatever, whatever. So apparently, he starts, like, checking them on the pocket situation. Now, it's one thing if, and by the way, I've, I've always said, like, because I've been on Clubhouse a whack. My criticism of any time I'm there when he has people around, they agree with him. It's not that they can't talk because everybody, like, you know, we're having discourse. I sometimes feel like they'll blindly agree. I don't like blind blind agreement. I don't even think, I don't even like when the chat blindly agree with me, right? But this is, so I, I want to draw a parallel because somebody might be like, yo, Ak, well, you, you didn't, like, you know, there was a point you was kind of checking a few people that was with him. No, I was saying they weren't challenging him, Right? Because Wack could be like, blah, blah, is blah, blah, and sometimes they'll let it slide. Or maybe they, they, they just don't know about so much about blah, blah, blah. This dude came in there and be like, yo, man, how much Wack paying y'all niggas, man? Is y'all niggas even getting paid in here? Like, yo, what's up? Like, he's checking them, calling them broke. So now, Wack being the boss, right? And, you know, Sharp won't understand this because here's the thing. Sharp, let me tell you this. You see how you just got marked out by, by Wack? In the next week, watch Adam sit, tell Wack, yo, come on in here. You're, uh, you're, you're surprised that Wack is standing up for his people because Adam don't give a fuck about you, nigga. You think Adam going to be like, nah, out of principle. Out of principle, nah, Wack. Nah, you, you and Sharp got to talk before you get up in here. Fuck no. This is why we call you a worker. Look how house phone got done. You just surprised when somebody's boss is, is just, and I'm not calling Wack the boss of the people in, in his, you know, um, clubhouse, but Wack is the face. Wack is just saying, don't talk to my people like that. Nigga, what's up? You got some respect. You're not used to that because you wouldn't get the same courtesy. Adam paying you? Did we ask you what Adam paying you? No, but we don't, though. Hell do. yeah, you can. Do we ask you without them paying airport, you? Nigga, we put our lives on the line. Do we ask right. you without them paying yeah. you? Y'all talk about I'm an employee, right? You are. Yo, yo, chat. I only say this, and I promise you I only say this, because I'm trying to let people know that the path I forged, great, it's admirable, but there is no... Yo, what's up with this boss culture when it comes to hip-hop, bro? Like, what the fuck is up with it? You tell a nigga he's an employee, and a nigga just loses his fucking mind. What the fuck is wrong with being an employee? We've seen, yo, literally, Ruri and Mealy Mall destroyed their podcast over being called a employee. That's it. That's it. This nigga now is in denial. No, I'm not no employee. I'm not. <laughs> nigga, the way you sounding, nigga, you might be an employee. Of some marble or lights thing. Like you look like a cigarette company is employing you too. What's so wrong? If you're coming up right now. 
if you're coming up right now and you have the opportunity to intern for me, Vlad, Adam, and right now it's hard to get a name. You could get some affiliation, some, some, you know, a little bit of a co-sign a bit, also build your shit. My nigga, sometimes you got to be the employee to become the boss. This culture we live in has told, y'all told people, nigga, I was a fucking working 40 hours a week for, it felt like for 600, 700 bucks. I, I believe, plus they were, taking they were taking taxes off it. So when I got it, it's about like 580, maybe 600. 40 hours a week, I was working at Verizon Wireless while I was struggling to become a YouTuber to try to build something on my own. I had to be, I had to be an, an employee there to try to become a boss here. That's part of my story. I don't deny it. Why is all these, you see, but this nigga right here, that's why I hate when he started talking the street shit. He's a two-bit pimp from fucking, thing from Las Vegas. Never really did an honest day of work in his life. Only manipulated women to fucking use their sexuality to make him a fucking crumb. So, of course, he resents the idea of being an employee. There's nothing wrong with being an employee. There's no dishonor in, in being an employee. Now, there is dishonor in being an employee and claiming to be the boss. There is dishonor in being an employee and claiming to be the boss. There's nothing wrong with being a... Somebody said, as an employee, I absolutely am for Spotify at this moment. Yes, I'm happy to be. This is why companies also take advantage of us because we're so stuck on ownership, not ownership or employee and boss. You know what companies do these days? I'm telling you, this is to message to not only black people, but to young kids coming up. You know, these companies are realizing because people are indoctrinated with this boss mentality. They'll give you quote unquote shares, which shares is a good thing in a company, but they'll give you much less what the shares is worth because they don't want to really pay you adequately. But now you can say you're now people get to walk around and say, oh, I'm kind of an owner. I'm a boss, too. You have point oh, 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 one of the entire shares. But they have just now manipulated you to probably bypass five hundred thousand dollars yearly for the next couple of years that you could actually maybe do something with like you know what i mean again in some cases like some you know taking shares that is the wave but you you see the desire for everybody not realizing like if you really don't have no leverage you're probably never not going to be a boss there keep listening Hey, now, nah, there you, you go. Are. Stay with your but feet. we don't ask you without them paying you. So, nigga, so ask me. So let's me employee. and you both get paid ask and run that this month. I got nigga. 50 on the pay, me, bro. Nigga. Ask me. I got 50. I don't, for what? Ain't our business. We don't give a fuck. That is what you cared about, though, nigga. No, you we don't, nigga, bro. Ever, that's all. Nigga. We do not give you no fucks about what Adam paying you. you that's your business, man. Bro, you was never just about that, though. You told me, nigga, that's your business. Down, nigga, just go get the internet content, nigga, because it's content. No, 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 no. Real, nigga. I got, nigga, you got, content. look, I'm 50. Come on, we bro. We just gonna get down. You ain't because, never even banged my line, fuck. nigga. Told me we gonna act like we back in the march. Right here talking about you don't even know me. We gonna get out just because. I'm a little nigga, right? Nigga, that's I'm talking shit out though. That's we can get said. out just because. That's nigga. what you said. I'm talking shit out. Okay, Brother, listen. That's what you said. Okay, well listen. Like, pimp, well, look, what we doing in Adam's box? Hey, dog. No, I can hear Adam right now. He'll open it up in the back, nigga. Adam will open it up in the back, bro. I promise you, I can call him right now. He gonna answer my call, bro. He got cameras. Bring it out. We all that. A nigga's gonna kill this shit on my stage, homie. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, bro. You want to bring it to Adam, but you don't want to. No, that's his spot. He got I the cameras. Do it. He I can go live. How you do it, bro? It's okay. Cool. Oh, okay. You right. Yeah, okay. You you're right, my nigga. You got okay. that one, big dog. You okay. got it. Huh. Oh, Nehi, well, big dog. You got that. Well, I sent a sleeper in there to get off for you doing the interview. You better kick back. Nigga, bro, 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 it's above your pay grade, bro. You better kick back, bro. It's above your pay grade, bro. Yeah, above my pay grade. Huh? Are you, yeah, it is. I'm not a manager, bro. It is. Nigga, I'm not. I'm not a manager. That's one of my jobs. Bro, it's
There we go again. I'm not a manager. Again, th this is one thing, and, and shit, Wack might get mad at me for me saying this. You know how Wack spends most of his time on clubhouse just cooling? Everybody keeps calling Wack. They keep calling Wack the manager. When Wack is the person who actually has the label. You know who does that too? They used to do that with, um. I remember me and him, hopefully he don't get mad at me too. They used to say that with Kid Leroy and Lil Bibby. They're like, oh, Kid Leroy's manager, Lil Bibby. Remember, Bibby talks to me one day and be like, yo, why do I keep saying I'm the manager? Nigga, I'm the label. The nigga signed to me. Does Wack manage? Yeah, he do that too. But this is where I think Sharp and a lot of young creators don't get it. And, and, and I hate to come up in this time where everybody is forced to be a boss because I'm going to be honest with you. I think that that's kind of also happening that no jumper, right? Everybody feels they have to be a boss. Like everybody got to be a boss. You don't realize like, you know what I mean? And by the way, salute to my man, AD. I was recently listening to him and I think he gets it. Yeah, you're an employee at no jumper. At your shit, the community, you're the boss. You could be both. <laughs> you could be both. It's fine. Wack is a manager for some artists, right? And then he's also the executive for those same artists. So he's probably the boss and the manager for some niggas. Whatever y'all want to know him as, it is what it is. There's no dishonor in being an employee. Please. That's not what I do. That's one of my jobs. Right. I'm a label. Don King's job was that too, my I'm nigga. a label with that. Don King's job was that too. Oh, I don't know. That's one of my jobs. You, Boy, you, better, go, you better go. You better go to you iTunes, know scroll King. down, and see who owned them albums. You don't know Don King? Yeah, I know him personally. You, you, so you know what he did? I know Don King personally. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, I know him. Boss is me and you, boss. me and you. So me and you both know the histories. Well, I mean, I don't know that man. That's that man business. No, right, right, right. That's right, that man right. business. But you don't care about putting my business out there, huh? We never asked you your business. No, nigga, you over here trying to assume. No, I, nigga, I know you work for Adam. What do you mean, nigga? That's I Adam 22 <laughs> Do I get a W-2? That's Adam 22 shit. Get... Let me answer you, Sharp. 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 I'm, I'm, I, yo, I'm going to give, yo... For a nigga whose name is Sharp, he sure is dumb. For a nigga whose name is Sharp, he sure is slow. I'm going to give this nigga, I'm going to put him on game. Okay? I'm going to put him on game. Dude. No, I'm, nigga, I know you work for Adam. What do you mean, nigga? That's I Adam 22 shit. Do I get a W-2 from That's you? Adam 22 shit. Do I get a W-2 from you? What you mean, nigga? Do I get a W-2 from you? Finna, you ain't finna do walk. Let me stop that. You know, the game, They well, he's a pimp. He should tell me. Don't they say the game is supposed to be sold and not told? This one's on the house, pro bono, free. You don't get a W-2 from, from Adam, but I could tell you, Adam. I, I don't even ask Adam about y'all niggas. I'm like, so, it, you know what I mean? I never wanted to be some shit where y'all be like, Adam, are you telling act shit? Like, you sounded like, you know what I mean? You got the cigarette still in your mouth. No, no. I could tell you because I see shit with a fucking clear eye. You don't get a W-2. You know why you don't get a W-2? Because Adam has all this fuckery going on over there. You know, you know what a W-2 employee is entitled to? You're entitled to benefits, health protection, all that type of shit. You niggas is fighting, doing all type of shit. Who knows what might happen there? Adam would be on the hook if you're a W-2 employee. You know what's easier to do? And you know what you probably do get? You do get a paycheck, right? Because you ain't working free. You're a 1099 employee. It's called an independent contractor, brother. You deal with all that. It's less liability on the company. I hire mad people too. I don't listen. For my company, I can tell you straight up. Me and another individual is the only only um um the the, the only W two employees. And yes, I pay myself. Even though I own a company. So put you on a little game. You see, this this might be too complex for you because you're used to dealing with Chicks who still got, you know, come stained hands handing you over the, the four twenty dollar bills that they just sucked and jerked the nigga off for. So you can't understand what the fuck going on. Yes. You know why most people hire and keep people as independent contractors? They'll even overpay to keep people as independent contractors because you're not legally 
responsible for a certain type of things that needs to come with a W-2, um, whether it's a part-time or a full-time employee. That's just the facts. You got to manage hours, it's that third. You, labor laws looks at it a little bit different. You want to pay niggas ten ninety nine. Now, here's the thing when you pay a nigga ten ninety nine, That nigga got to pay all his taxes himself, number one. Yes, you do pay taxes for them, but you pay to the government. But you just for having an employee, at least here out here. But that nigga got to handle taxes himself, handle health insurance himself. They got to do all that shit themselves. But also what Adam got going on over at No Jumper? Why the fuck would he put y'all on like real W-2 like salary type of shit? Are you crazy? Let one of y'all over there claim y'all got hit in the head with a chair or a nigga spit on you or you have emotional distress. Labor laws would wrap Adam up in litigation. He would have to be paying out all type of settlements. So you know what he, you know what he does? You know what you're a 1099 classified there? You come and go as you please, nigga. You're an independent contractor. You're not beholden to be there. A ten, somebody said 1099 is not an employee according to the IRS. Well, if you're going by that, if you're going by that, because usually a 1099, they claim you're self-employed, but you're an idiot. If this is your only job, right? You're employed by them, bro. Like, again, y'all trying to do semantics, trying to get out of this. I don't, I've never had it. The last W-2 job I had, the last W-2 job I had was literally at Verizon Wireless. But I'm telling you, I've been a employee at Complex, now at Spotify, and other things. If this is one of your main jobs that you show up at, and you have contracts detailing the time and length of that independent contract, you are an employee for said company for that time period. Oh, I see why y'all saying it. Somebody be like, yo, I'm a boss. I get a 1099 from Uber. I don't work for them. Okay, dog. <laughs> all right, man. <laughs> you know, so, all right, whatever. Bro, bro, listen, I'm not even saying that for Sharp. He's clearly isn't too, you know, too sharp. You know, he's a slow motherfucker, clearly. I'm only saying that to kind of just put people on game. There's nothing wrong with it, though. Ain't nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. Please, like, there's a lot of kids who's trying to think about what you do with their lives. Don't let nobody tell you that you shouldn't get a job. A job is cool. Like, trust and believe. And I got to say it because niggas going to be like, well, I keep saying he's a boss. You, you know what? And, and somebody said, act, you perpetuated that. Yeah, I perpetuate that because that's my reality now. The amount of people I pay, of course I'm the boss. You know how many, nigga, you know, you know when it comes to the first of the month, and I, like, there's certain people on payroll, certain people I pay differently, but you know what I mean, everything's accounted for. If I just kept all the money, I'd, I'd be like hella even more rich. But when you have employees, you got to pay. That's what it is. And if my employees want to go out there and think that, oh, no, I don't work for nobody. I'm a boss, too. Get them niggas back to reality, man. You might, like, again, take the money I pay you and go develop another company. You could be a boss there if you really want to be a boss so bad. But there's no dishonor in being an employee. Because you know what? When I, th when I talk to people who, who are in the industry I'm in, anybody who I pay... I, pay, I overpay. I pay very well. So, you shouldn't, if a nigga work for me, he shouldn't be over here mad that he's, he somebody called him an employee. And that's why I'm not like fucking think I'm belittling nobody when I'm saying I'm the boss. So this is why I'm, I'm trying to just get y'all out of this mindset that if I, if I started it, let me bring it back down. Because dumbass thing is like Sharp, he only could talk about pimp, pimping and bitches. Water it down. No jumper oh, is Adam Twenty Two. You, you a nigga of questions. So, nigga, do I get a W two from? You? Listen, do no I jumper. Get a w two. No jumper. Do I the get a W two? The content that goes no up on no jumper. Do I get a W two? Owned by no jumper. By the way, chat. If you're an independent contractor and you're contracted, whether it's for two months, three months, or whether to complete a task, while doing said task. 
Are you not employed? That's all I got to say, man. Like, I don't know why we over here arguing about it. Okay, do I get a What's W-2 this Adam from... 22? What Stop I, fighting that. You sound w-2? crazy. Do I get a W-2 from my... You don't sound, sound crazy. crazy. How? I don't know what I'm you asking. did. Okay. I know you work on this platform. say that then. Is that his platform? That. Is you that Adam's you platform? See. You sell it. You Adam's probably get a 1099. But listen, oh, he's going to say that. Right, 1099. Right, right, yeah, get a 1099. Hey, who you talking to? There we go. Let him get Let him get close. We don't need it. Wax got this. Hey, bro, yeah, speak, speak, speak you know. Look, that's half the reason why I'm in here, bro. Watch your mouth when you're talking to R&B. <laughs> there you go. I got number love for R&B. You know that. But <laughs> listen, we going to do. This is we going to do. But I just we put the hey, city up. Hey, I call hey, Adam. He going to turn the cameras on. He open the gate. Right Baby, did I show you? Hey, did I not show can, you love? Can we put the fifty up did for the squab? Show you love. Yeah, we can put, we put the fifty up squab? Oh, now you want to put the fifty up for the squabble? Man, ain't nothing but fifty, bro. That's you fun. said I was an employee, bro. Listen, like, man, I, you I said we, I was an can employee. Can we put the fifty up? Go prove up and say that I'm an employee. Can we Maybe put we the can do that? We all know that. Show bro. that I get a W. No jumper was show, there before you. Show, It'll be there after you. you no jumper is Adam Twenty Two platform. Right? Everybody knows that. that. Everybody respects that, bro. Show me where. Are you I'm telling me that's not Adam's you. platform? But show me, nigga. I'm there, nigga. Two days. Are you telling me that's not his platform? It is his platform. That's yes. it. There ain't nothing else to talk about, bro. Oh, it isn't. But you said that, that I'm an employee. Okay, so okay, it is Adam's platform, and you say I'm an employee, <clears throat> right, bro? Yo, I see. Hey, I see a few of y'all in here who are struggling with basic terms. This is why. You know, business, you know, and I give a lot of free game on this shit when it comes to business. I don't got to be kicking and screaming. I only show y'all by what I've done. Okay? I'm, I'm only showing you by literally execution. And and if you guys want to believe that it's not true, that's all y'all. But let me give you a little bit more game about this whole thing, especially when it comes to um, um, employee, non-employee things. Because if you heard what Sharp said um, when he was ref- talking to me when I called him an employee before, he said, I'm a partner. I want to remind y'all what a partner in a company is. A partner is not a subcontractor. It's not a 1099 individual at all. Now, you could be both. But here's the thing. A partner in a company, for example, let's say my company, you would own part of the company. Now, I own 100%. Now, I know as a fact, Adam owns 100% of No Jumper. Now, a lot of times, and you know, I was watching the suits, my boy, um, Kyle, from the Nelt Boys, you know, you know, he went through some some issues with this podcast with uh, a dude named Bob Menery, and I talked about this before, and and you know, he also said he was a partner. He recently just spoke about it yesterday, and he said that he got to find out that he thought he owned part of the podcast, but no, he only was entitled to. So, so it, the lingo got confusing to him. He's entitled to thirty percent of the advertisement and revenue made from the podcast. That's where Ruri and Mealy Moore always got confused too. Being entitled to a percentage from the profits doesn't ma- mean that you are um, a owner. The revenue split, it, it, like if they fire you, they get 100% now. That's just how it works. When you own a part of a company, right, or when you're a partner, because people keep using these words to avoid just the truth about everything. Oh, no, I'm, I'm not an employee. I'm a partner. If you're a partner in No Jumper, you can sit your ass home and make money from them. I'm not a part. I was never a partner at Complex. Say the show, which I we did mad business on. I raked in a lot of revenue for, for <clears throat> Complex with. On the sticks, I own that show. When the show was at Complex, I signed a contract that we were partners on everything including ip ownership of what was created there within the license period you know what that meant and this is contractually in writing say for whatever reason complex that came out during that time and we did three seasons they, they said act we don't want you to be the host anymore i was entitled to get 40 percent no matter what whether i'm on camera whether whether like i'm publicly disgraced i own at least while it's shot there but i own the entire ip anyway so they they were they, they they we had a licensing period for six, but they they had to like you know um, tell me within I think about 
three months after the last one ended if they're going to try to pick up the option. Um, and they could do it up to six times. When when it was there, we owned a joint thing. After Afterwards, like right now, I, I own on the six. So on the sticks, I own. I could I could start on the sticks on my YouTube channel now. I could go get a, a sales team to go pitch it to any video game company and record it myself. I could bring it to Apple. Apple was trying to get it before. You see, these are the difference where, where I keep hearing these dumbass niggas using words that just doesn't matter. Like, you're never partner in a company, my nigga. Like, you're not partner at No Jumpers. Like, for you to be a partner in No Jumper, that means you're collecting potentially dividends of what comes into No Jumper. Whether it's your show or not. So when I hear these motherfuckers say these dumbass things, like I have to like really correct them. You might be partners on a show, right? Let's say the Shark Tank or whatever it's called. If you're partners with him for the show, I don't know, maybe. But still, you could be both. That's what I keep saying. You could be both. I was in I got paid as a host, which is an employee, and I was a partner. I'm trying to just give a little bit of like, you know, just business education to these motherfuckers because you see what all these other niggas, you know, I shit on all these guys. My business been great. My business been great. That's how I say. Anyway, let's keep going. You the, you the, you the lowest nigga on the totem pole in there. Okay. For sure. I love that you said Nigga, I've been watching that platform, no bro. I nigga, I watched it when he, when he gave nephew I'm them they slot. You the lowest nigga on the totem. What are you, what are you talking about nigga. right here? You're right. I am. You're like the bottom bitch. I am. I'm the bottom up, <laughs> nigga. I do no numbers. You the nigga. bottom nothing. bitch. I have nothing. You're right. I'm barely hanging in. But what I'm what saying is, is you I'm said I was a little here, nigga. I am I'm, I'm was a little nigga. nigga in the building. Okay, so what I'm saying is, I could call Adam. I'm sweating to God. He call him. The gate. He call opened him. the gate, right? Yeah. He had turned on all the cameras. Oh, wow. Since you said I'm a little nigga, let's go. Let, I take offense. Nigga, I that. never called you, nigga. That's what you want to take it as. But I'd rather Am you I just say it Did I hear this is. nigga call me a little You're right. That's right, what he right. said. That, that's what you said. Exactly said that. I call no nigga. You call me a little nigga. And I say nigga, nigga you're boy, small. Man. We're yeah. both. You say you ain't like that. We're nah. Nah. nigga. Nah. Nigga, we're both small. That's nah. I'm five eight. He a fake pimp. Well, he a fake. Bro, y'all acting like my nigga. I'm five eight two four big shit. Y'all crazy, bro. Hey, hey, I promise you, y'all acting like I'm a nigga that don't make content too. Y'all think that y'all can take the words? Man, please go here. Y'all had this nigga. I got them. Can I get this pussy? Hey, hey, hey. Can I get this pussy? Can I get this pussy? Let me get this guy. Let me get this guy. Let me get this guy. Me get this guy. <laughs> hey, Shark. Shark. You a two bit pimp. You a two bit pimp, Shark. You a two bit pimp. You know what happens in prison of pimps? You guys get beat the fuck up because you get an R on your jacket now. That's what happens to pimps. You get an R on your fucking jacket. Whenever you want to. Whenever you want to. Whenever you want to do it. You won't put the 50 up. You won't put the 50 up. You a pimp. You a pimp. You a broke ass pimp. You had to leave your job. You had to leave your job to become a motherfucking podcaster because you can't pimp no more. You had to leave your job to become a podcaster because you can't pimp no more. Sharp, you can't fuck with us, Sharp. You ain't sharp enough. You ain't sharp enough. You ain't sharp enough to yeah, fuck with us, Sharp. Tell me who that happened. You ain't sharp you enough to fuck with us, Sharp. I respect for your you, boy, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Todd, Todd, Todd. Todd, Todd, Todd he can't hey, fuck with us. He can't. Listen, me up, bitch. I've been seeing this play. But he's going to be our content. He's going to be our good little bitch on Clubhouse. He's going to be our good little bitch on Clubhouse now. We're going to make him our good little bitch on Clubhouse. Mike was muted. Listen, listen. He faked like his mic was muted. He couldn't hear nothing with shit that I wrote. He trying to crawfish his way out. He been ducking, he been ducking and motherfucking diving and doing fucking so carnival talk. Man, he coming over here. Disrespect him. I let him have a conversation. I slap the shit out of Sharp. Watch this here. Listen, listen. Two hours ago, we just had a conversation on this nigga. Which you don't know. Yo, shut up, stupid nigga. Nigga, shut up, shut up, bitch. Nigga, I asked you to break your joke. You did not. Shut your bitch ass up. Shut your bitch ass up. I don't know what you're talking about. I watched you do it. Shut up. Shut up. Now, Sharpie, uh, check this out, brother. You know, I've never been a fan of bullying. And while a lot of people were amused by what y'all did to Kelpie, I wasn't that amused. It was bullying. And, um... Yeah, did he get a little disrespectful? Yeah, I did. I agree that he did. 
but you know, it's a very embarrassing thing. And um, I think y'all got y'all got really excited about embarrassing him and bullying him. Just I've seen you get embarrassed. You've gotten really excited about bullying a lot of these like wannabe smuts that get on your show too. But I have a heart. I don't like that whacking the hunted side was embarrassing him. Now, I can't say this will work. But Sharpie, I'm expecting an apology. Not to me. Just to whack and everybody else. And I'm going to make a call over there for you. I'm going to make a call. Be like, yo, bro, Sharp, you know, he's, he's a washed up pimp. Like, he can't really get money like that no more. Like, all he got is this no jumper thing. He needs it. Y'all can't bully him out the building. Come on now. Why? Come on. Please don't don't, don't catch a fade with him for 50. He, he might not even have like $500 in his pocket. Now, I think because Wax is a level-headed nigga, he might say, you know what? You know what, nephew? I'm going to let him off the hook. And I want to make that call for you, Sharp, because unlike you who revels in trying to get view, because I don't, Sharp, I don't know if you know, I've analyzed you too. You know, I analyze everybody who say something about me. When you ain't screaming at women or trying to bully other wannabe pimps and you're forced to have any conversation that is even slightly intellectual in nature, nobody watches you. You're the one trick pony. You need to beef, shout, argue. You can't reason. You're not that smart. I'm open to uh, asking Wack graciously. I can't promise you because he might be like, nephew, get out of the way. I got to sock him out. You know how he talks. But I could ask for a pass for you, Sharp. Trust me. I don't like seeing people get bullied. And now that you're in this situation, I don't want him to run you back to San Diego. Okay? I know some of y'all think I'm heartless, but no. Sharp ended up sounding like one of the motherfuckers. You ever heard one of these motherfuckers in, in, in the cigarette commercials? Let me find it. Look. Cigarette commercial. This is how sharp was sound on that bitch right here. I want to give you some nothing about getting ready in the morning. Love your name. I got W2. Go Diego. Go Diego. Go Diego. Go Diego. Like, come on, bro. Come on. Let this might have been one of them that sharp had on the track. Holy. Nah. Then you're heading way to Yo, Sharpie. Listen, man. I expect an apology very expeditiously. <clears throat> um, This is the problem when you start doing all that street stuff, right? You know, I challenged you to a debate. You kept talking street, street, street. I'm like, does everybody think this is Street Fighter? <laughs> So I'll debate you. But you kept talking street, street, street till you ran to somebody who was trying to fight you. Now, your true colors is going to be exposed. They're looking at you like, well, you be shouting and screaming. Are you going to catch a fade with Big Whack? Or... Now, I could tell by the tone of your voice. You don't want to do it. And, and, and I'm not here to shame you or pressure you into doing it. I don't support bullying. So I'm expecting you to make a video apologizing to Wack and the 100 side. You know, it would be good if you admitted that you were probably off some illicit substances as well because you'd be tweaking. And I'm going to take that apology and I'm going to give a call and I'm going to graciously ask for a pass that you could still record your show in Los Angeles only four miles from where Wack's at. Remember you said that. Without Adam having to open up the back with the cameras on, we don't want that. We don't want that, Sharpie. Okay? All right, Sharpie. 
<clears throat> Yo, chat. Have you ever started giving a nigga the smoke, but then felt bad for him and had to defend him? Yeah, nah. I'm gonna talk to Wack. I, I don't think Wack wanted that. I know how Wack move. Wack got his trick. If Wack really want, Wack will run him. Literally run him out of like L.A. I don't think. I don't think that'd be fair. It's a blue face. And by the way, Blueface, I'm keeping a real light on you, man, because, you know, I love whack. <clears throat>